in Florida, in the US of A. And I've come over here to teach aquaponics once again. This is my third trip over the USA. And this, on this particular occasion, I've teamed up with the wonderful folk at Green Acre Organics and Sylvia Bernstein from the Aquaponics Source. And we've put this team together and we're running the training at Gina and Tonya's Green Acre Organics Farm. It's been a fantastic experience. We are now halfway through the second session. We had to, had so many people book in, we had to have two sessions. So we're halfway through the second session and here we are teaching aquaponics to people who want to do it commercially. It's really a wonderful experience. We're standing here right beside a little demonstration kit that we put together as part of the training. And I want to show that to you this morning because it's just a wonderful thing to do to be able to actually build your own small aquaponics system. This system that every student participates in building has every component of a media and float system. Fantastic. Over here at the back we see we've got a great big fish tank that actually has tilapia in it. We've got here the gravel grow bed component which is really terrific and below that acting as both the sump and the raft system we've got this bottom chamber. It's just wonderful the way it's constructed and it gives every student an opportunity to see just how a media based combination system works. Anyway this is the fish tank, right? How many gallons is it? Can you see it on the end there? I think it's on the end. 100 gallons. So it's a nice little fish tank and uh, it's just right for this kind of size kit. Now over here we've got the timber. Okay, we're here at Green Acre Organics in Florida, and we're looking at um, Gina and Tonya's uh, raft farm, which is a very successful farm where they've been growing all sorts of uh, green leafy vegetables and crops like that for their market, which is primarily local chefs in local restaurants. And the chefs like to get a variety of, of product, and initially um, they were delivering to them beautiful lettuce of different varieties, but the chefs keep asking for more. What about tomatoes? What about radish? What about carrots? They want to buy all that kind of stuff. So late last year, Gina and Tonya got on to me and said, well, how about we, you show us and help us to integrate some gravel grow beds into our system? Because there's two very good reasons for that. The first one is that we can develop a bigger nutrient bank by using gravel grow beds, better mineralization, the release of more nutrients into the system, and we can grow fruiting plants much better as well. Fruiting plants such as tomatoes, cucumbers, um, all that kind of thing that we would want, that our chefs want. So um, here it is. After quite a few months of backwards and forwards emailing, etc., uh, Gina and Tonya have very successfully built this beautiful, great big long gravel grow bed, which they've broken into five sections to make it smaller and easier to manage. And they've built it over the top of the existing raft that was already here. And that raft system that's below this is now the, the uh, sump for the system. And so the auto siphons dump directly into that sump and that means they didn't have to alter their plumbing too much for the water to keep traveling through the rest of the system as it did before we did this modification. And you can tell just how well it's going because these tomato bushes have been in there for about six weeks and have a look at the color. That just tells you everything, the beautiful deep dark green and we're already setting fruit on these different tomatoes. Um, in order to keep their market satisfied, they're actually growing fancy tomatoes. They're not growing ordinary old red ones. They're growing all different kinds of fancy ones, so their chefs can uh, have a variety of, of um, beautiful tomatoes to use in their salads that they produce. Look, we've even got some really nice, robust radishes growing here, a white style that, once again, their chefs will find very good to get. Um, well, they've used 19 millimeter or three quarter inch gravel. We can see they went to a lot of trouble to get good quality gravel, and there it is. It's um, doing its job, filtering the material, uh, aiding in mineralization, and sending so much more nutrient into the system than would have been able, able to be delivered before. That's one of the interesting things. Gina and Tony are actually going to find that their raft side of the business, the amount of nutrient available to these plants will actually improve over what it was before we had gravel grow beds built into the system or media beds built into the system.